Okay, take the balls with TNT at the back of your rock. Number nine kicks. Ticks and kickers they're managing to retain possession. And we have the first penalty of the game. And the ref blows for not releasing any tackle penalty to TNT select. And the TNT select number scrum off. Jaron Panther finds touch. here as well and uh, got a little bit of a rain shower coming in and just keeping us honest yeah well we've had sun all for all the other games so maybe a little bit of rain today was going to help we're uh, under uh, basic conditions here at Fatima College in terms of our broadcast setup uh, under a tent so we're uh, just trying to secure waterproofing for all of that and uh, been some great rugby action here though this week and really nice close games no blowouts and showing a lot of parity well, all the teams seem strong, Doug. Um, everybody's up for the competition. As he said, no blowouts, and everybody keeps working hard. I don't know watch the games last night, but Mexico playing their first game and doing well against USA South, 20-10. Uh, to uh, Mexico just completely blew them out of the water the second half. They defended on their line for almost 20 minutes, not and, uh, allowing the USA South to cross at all. So that was an excellent game. And how about Barbados uh, never say die and they score two late tries on full time and uh, birthday boy Conrad Edgar the uh, number eight scoring the winning try. Oh, I, know. I didn't I didn't wasn't fortunate enough to catch that game but it sounded like a cracker. Yeah. It's interesting now that Barbados is straight through. Yes. But in the first pool we have to see what happens between Trinidad and Tobago on Mexico on Thursday. Anyone can win it, yeah, oh, depending on how that, that pool out. is wide open now. So tell me, uh, do you have a lot of involvement with this Trinidad and, Tode and Tobago select side that we're seeing here today? They were brought in to replace St. Vincent. Do you know a lot of these boys coming through the club um, system? I, I, I would know. I've, I've been abroad for quite some time now, but um, I've played through schools on the 14, on the 16, on the 19. I've played for the senior team. But I can say I'm happy with the young boys that we see coming through, both on the A team and the select team. Now there seems to be a lot of skill in the forwards, like you're getting eight eight men that like to kick the ball and, and do the full skill sets, which is uh, probably requisite in proceeding in your, your rugby career to be the full package. Yeah, what, what, what we lack in size, we always make up for in skill. We always have the, the quick, good ball players. So the wind, you might be able to hear it, uh, is blowing quite a gale, and it has uh, previous games here. It's going straight up and down the pitch from left to right. So really, it's uh, Turks and Caicos with the 15-point the wind, wind at their back right now. They should be using this to drive it down the park, but they haven't so far. Well, at the moment, they're in the 22, and TNT Select has an attack at Scrum. So although TNT Select has an uphill battle, um, you're right, TCI, has, they have the advantage of the wind in the first half. So I would see if TCI can get, gain control of the ball, they'll just be launching it down the other end. Well, they have a big ball for Scrum. The last game they played there, number one, and then number 19, who played number eight, were immense. Oh, just getting uh, the ball rolling down the back line now and uh, Trinidad and Tobago showing some pace out uh, wide. That's a nice first step, step inside. Another step by number 23. Anthony Ford. Now, folks, we're just trying to get the lineup from uh, Turks and Caicos, or I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, so. And TNT select now of a penalty in the Turks and Caicos 22. And they've taken the option to run, taken up by number 43, pulling towards the line. Jean-Luc Moutet, 
showing good still from about five or six meters out. Took the quick penalty. Tap, do you see the replay? Shrugs off one defender. Excellent work from Jean-Luc Moutet. Great start by the uh, TNT Select side that were really put together at the last moment to replace St. Vincent, but showing the cohesiveness of this rugby community to be able to bring the team together like that. I think it's good to see the depth in talent that TNT has. Um, that they could put two very strong teams with reserves. And they're showing a good start there. And now the kick is coming. This will be a remarkable kick, and it, it won't be a remarkable kick. Uh, that wind is just forcing it back, uh, and uh, so it'll stay 5 nothing. Uh, so the try not converted. TNT Select just 5 nil up at the moment after good sustained pressure for about 5 10 minutes of the first half. Takes and Kekos with a restart, going deep and straight down the middle of the pitch. Trinidad and Tobago fullback collects, takes up to 22. Ball is at the back. So when you're facing into a wind like this, now penalty against Turks and Caicos for leaving their feet at the breakdown. Um, you know, TNT is going to want to uh, keep the ball in hand and not try and kick it away. See this first clearance kick and uh, it finds touch, but uh, the wind chipped about uh, 15 meters off of its potential. Good touch time there against the wind. I turn that to Mago Center. Bring them up just up to the halfway and attack in line to TNT Select. Now the challenge is going to be for the hookers to throw the ball in straight, and this was a real problem the other day. Well, it'll be even worse today with the wind. Um, which I assume was the, was the factor in the first game anyway. Yeah. Ball Sorry. is being thrown in by number eight. Let me hold on to one of those sheets for you there. So, yeah, the number eight is Declan Davis getting ready to throw it in for TNT. We're wearing red playing from right to left on the field. They throw it too, but lost. Takes and Kikos in possession now. Trying to get the ball out wide. New hands, 13. Oh, what's a step from 13? Breaks the first tackle, rock form. TCI has the ball now at the back. Out to the nine, run across. Gets a pass away to the winger. The winger is brought down. Good counter rucking here now by TNT, but not before a penalty comes. TCI has lost some large yards there. They're number nine. They had good forward momentum. Then number nine ran across and they were stopped by TNT Select. Our referee today is uh, Michael Jones of Canada. He's from Vancouver, flew in uh, yesterday morning early, thought he had the day off and ended up refereeing last night and uh, uh, for the Barbados game. And uh, So he's doing well to play uh, referee two games and two nights on a little bit of sleep. Well done, referee. Well, he's having a good game so far, so hopefully he can keep it up. Well, he's one of these fitness guys. He'll go and go and go, so the heat doesn't bother him. Well, he obviously is not to forward. Or wasn't a forward in the no. past life. And we have one pair, number 19, who plays number eight for Turks and Caicos. He was instrumental in their win against BVI on Monday. And that's and a try by uh, number 10. Uh, is a try indicated? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it looks like it was the outside half. Uh, Christoph got in that one. Christoph Malcolm was another standout player for Turks and Caicos in their game on Monday. Um, and he just cut through the line there. TNT defense going to sleep. Now they'll have uh, the advantage of having quite a, a good gust behind them for this conversion.
structure and how they develop in those situations. What a great restart by Trinidad and Tobago. Deep nine. Caught by the diminutive uh, takes and kickers number nine. Miguel Malcolm, uh, brother of uh, the, the fullback. There are some some small guys on this TCI team, yes. but they're 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 not afraid to confront and make the big tackles. No, they go all in and a kick there from Monpe, number 19, who plays number eight for Texas. But we were talking about the number eight yeah. with the kicking abilities. Oh. That's good stuff. And hands out. Oh, oh what a and step! A good dummy and a step. Oh, a good cover tackle <laughs> by uh, Roseman Joseph, TCI. TNT select still in possession. 42. Ball out. One of the big boys from TNT now rumbling and through. That's the try score, John Mark Lute making some good yards there. That ball's coming out now. Quick pass going left on the option. Drop oh. ball. So we'll take the knock on and it's going to be put in for Turks and Caicos. TNT select looking good there. An attack uh, just feeling with some poor hands there by number 36. TCI now have an attacking scrum just outside of the TNT Select 22. I've got to say what a great job the local organizing committee has done to host all these teams and organize games over so many days and uh, Terrenus come down from Canada and be a part of this working with the NACRA Rugby Union and uh, you know the, the folks are sure friendly down here They're great great people you know, living down here in Trinidad Tobago. Trinidadians are known for being happy yeah. through thick or thin, whatever's happening. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone with a bad day yet, so that's good. We don't have a huge union, but the people in the rugby fraternity, like anywhere in the world, they chip in when they need to, which is something we could always look forward to. Now, these scrums are looking a little high. Uh, they, they need to work on technique both ways, and now it's an indirect penalty. Uh, TCI was boring in, I think. And Jaron Panta, number 21. That's the ball off to number 9, and a step again, number 31. Hands going wide. Wow. Out to the winger. That's a good tackle coming in there for him. He takes and kick as well. Huh? Yeah, they're Pulls drifting across and now penalty for uh, not we're rolling away at the, the tackle. Ball. No attempt to play the ball. Unlucky from, for, for TNT Select there. They managed to work their way from their 10 meter line all the way to the takes and kickers 22. But discipline just let him down. Now takes and kickers kick for territory. I'm not sure he's found touch. It's going to stay in play. Off the shoulder, that'll go back. Now counterattack opportunity for Trinidad and Tobago. Poor loose pass coming there from Trinidad and Tobago. And the loose pass let oh. him down a little bit. And as he said before, the Ticks and Caicos boys are small compared to the TNC Select boys, but they are not missing a tackle. They are all over the pitch. They're not allowing themselves to be intimidated by his size, and their work rate is immense. So that one was... Uh, against one blue, that's uh, Tursko Misic. Captain Blue. And now uh, Michael Jones is going to have a conversation that's with Turks and Caicos. We played 15 minutes. Okay. Two for offside, one entry. Okay. Let's clean it up, okay? Talk to the players, okay? So Jones giving them the yep. stats early that that's four penalties <laughs> and uh, he may be obligated to hand out a yellow card at some point if it uh, keeps up. Red, well, this one is key, especially for this uh, age group. So. Boys needs to understand that they can't be naughty. Now we're having a substitution here. 36 red coming off, so let's. Uh, I don't know if we can go yet. There's our number go sheet ahead. here for. Uh, so Justin uh, Chartier coming coming off, and uh, who did we just see come on there? That was uh, 16, I believe. Not straight. Captain, what would you like? You have a choice of a line or scrum 15. Okay, well, we're going to have to figure that out. In a now we see, we see the wind playing a factor there in the line out again. Not straight um, by the Turks and Caicos team. Scrum. TNT Select has selected to go for the scrum for the infringement. Strangely, last night with wet conditions in the Mexico uh, USA South game, uh, USA South was opting for, in those situations, for another throw-in. And I thought that was a, an interesting choice, and I think it might have cost them some set-piece uh, possession. Yeah, from watching the game, I think it did. But, having said that, I think um, Closer, gentlemen. their line-outs, they both Nine. probably lost an equal amount. Mm -hmm. I think Mexico definitely wanted it more last yeah, night. Yeah. 
So you know, that, that scrum is not ready. settling in nicely. This is about our fourth scrum, and and the, the backs are bent on the uh, T and T side, the the right side of the scrum, and things not that much better on the Turks and Caicos side. So uh, let's see if they can sort this out. Crouch. Closer. Bind. I think the ref definitely is having some problems with his scrum here. Um, it's crucial that he makes sure they bind and engage safely. He's just giving the instructions, yeah. And, and this is really crucial at the under-19 level. They'll, they'll soak up that information and uh, have a better day for it. I must commend the ref there for his excellent, excellent explanation on, on what exactly he needs to happen. For the scrum to be safe. Of course, the scrum law is new this year, so a lot of teams uh, right. still figuring out the nuances of the uh, change. Good. Now that's a that ball not Don't getting in cleanly. So Let we go down for the scrum again. Nice and comfortable on a day like today to have num numerous uh, scrums in a row too for the front row players. You know, it's nice and toasty. You could throw a loaf of bread in there and bake it. And get used to it. They get some rest, especially in this heat. Yeah. Which is slowly rising. I think we're probably up to 32, 33 degrees now. Bright and sunny again. The rain has gone away. Yeah, that was a wicked rainstorm all of a minute and 12 seconds, and then it was done. Crabbing sideways, but finally coming out. Oh, trick play and by Mont Premier. Mont -Pay again. Going forward. Uh, no support. That ball's out, so <laughs> TNT was welcome to take it. Nice handling by four. And an excellent tackle on the big number one there. So Tarigo Misic doing a good job there. And TNT come up with the ball after, but it's a scrappy play. Use it, Red. Number 21, Jaron Panzer gets it out to the runner. Going forward. Again, one blue. And a penalty again, against this time against Terrico Messick for not playing the ball on the floor. Number 21, Jaron Panzer to find touch from the penalty. Now, just like we have uh, player changes, we're going to swap out announcers here. Uh, blue, not please. an injury or anything, but uh, we've got some local ta talent in the form of Felician Gerard to uh, help us out. And he's been doing other games and well-known man about town and a friend of yours, I'm sure. So I'm going to uh, hand this all over to you guys. Thanks, Doug. Good afternoon, folks. And I'm joining Gavin Toussaint here, and we will be covering the rest of the game this evening at the Fatima College ground. Welcome, Felicia and Gara. Still have 16 and a half. 16 and a half minutes left to play, and takes in Kikos. Chest on the back foot. Here we go, Blue. Trinidad and Tobago select have an attacking line out on the 10 meter line. Turks and Caicos 10 meter line. The contest thus far has been very even. Gav, what do you think is the, is the result of this? Are they being matched evenly in the forward pack? Or is it the, the back line that is matching each other for pace today? To be honest, I think both the forward and the pack, the forward and the backs are, are very even today. Um, what both teams need to do is look no, to their key men. I don't know if you remember from Monday, okay. uh, number 19, Montpe, was immense for his team. Um, Trinidad Tobago selectors brought in Jaron Panto, who has a lot of experience, you have a number? excellent decision maker. So this game today would come down to the key players, so to be honest. So we, had, we had a knock on by Red in the line, so we're going to have a scrum blue. Okay. So gentlemen, whenever we have a line out, you either are in for the line out or you're out, okay? Don't, don't be in that middle land, okay? Either you're in the line out and you're in it, or you're back 10, okay? The Number referee was kind playing, of up, no playing up there for the young men, some line out laws. Okay. We have a scrum. scrum if they are not at the line out, they need, need to be 10 back in line with okay. the back line when the, before the ball is thrown in. Otherwise, they will be in an offside position, which will give an advantage to the other team. 
Substitution here by Turks and Caicos. Number 18 on. Number 18 on for the, for the Turks and Caicos, which is Cortez for Forbes. For the hooker, Scott Clinton. Resetting the scrum here. Remember, you're not taking up the space. I think this is something uh, definitely okay. warrants okay, development and for here, Felicia. We've had a number of scrum resets today, mostly uh, for bad positioning, wrong posture, okay, so early engagement. Uh, credit to the ref. He's been explaining to the boys exactly what he needs very clearly. But I think the teams need to go back and look at that uh, again. Their scrums set properly, especially from a safety aspect. I do agree. The scrum is a, is a very ticklish area in terms of safety, especially at this age group. We don't have the scrums collapsing at all. Set. Much better scrum now. Ball in, but it has been won by the Trinidad and Tobago hey. Select. Trinidad and Tobago Select out. went against the head. And they're going down their line. It's a powerful run here by the big number 40, 42. And he, it seems he would go all the way. Busting through five tackles on his way there to the try line. And number 42, Cathal Long. <laughs> number 42, Cathal Long, inside center for TNT Select. We have Breaking here now. Five tackles. With the replay, Cathal as he starts. One player goes, he goes by as two, three. The fourth player here. And the fifth not being able to hold on to him as he goes over the line. Cathal Long showing good power there. Showing good. Lots of palms being shared. From the rest of my old days. Very athletic, just like you indeed, Gavin. Or well, maybe 10 years ago. Conversion was unsuccessful there by TNT. So we have a score for you now. Trinidad and Tobago select versus Turks and Caicos, 10 to 5 in favor of TNT. And a good restart there from Turks and Caicos. Hands in the hands of Jerome Panther. And he sends it back up the field. Taken by Turks and Caicos, just over the 10 meter line. Eight and five, all offside. And we come back for a penalty to Turks and Caicos. The TNT select three players there, number eight, number five, offside from the kick. You have a choice. You either have a kick or scrum up. So you have a kick where the ball landed or scrum where the ball was kicked from. And Turks and Caicos, they're giving two options from the ref. They have a scrum where the ball landed. No, sorry, a penalty where the ball landed. Or a kick, a uh, scrum from where the kick was taken. And they opt for the scrum where the kick was taken. So now Turks and Caicos, they have an attacking scrum just inside of the Trinidad and Tobago 22. The TNT select will have to be careful here, with, considering that they tend to play a strong kicking game. Players need to ensure that they're behind the person who kicks the ball. Otherwise, they will be considered offside and will not be allowed to, to, uh, to converge on the player retrieving the ball until the player who has kicked the ball has put them onside. I think that was just poor discipline there, to, uh, Felicia. And, uh, especially after he up, there's really no need. The ball is in by Turks and Caicos. Ball come. Straight out through the tunnel. You're going to drive forward. And it's going to be a reset scrum to Turks and Caicos. Tunnel clear, 
Weather very uh, up and down today, Felicia. We started with rain. We went back to scorching sun. Now we're overcast. What's next? We also have the, the strong wind to contest with, which is going to make it difficult for players with handling and kicking of the ball. Takes and kick us putting in the ball. TNT seems to have a drive. Okay. And it's so straight back out the tunnel once two more. Two things that are happening here. One, we hit and hold. There's no pushing till the ball's in. Okay? Everybody understand that? Second thing, hookers, keep your feet out of the tunnel until the ball's in. Okay? I need to see that nice gap in the tunnel. Okay? And the ref again explaining what he needs to happen in scrum. This is uh, quite possibly 10 or 11 scrum reset we've had for the game. So we spent a lot of time at the breakdown. Um, Let's do it right, in scrums. Come on. I think if things continue to go as they do at the scrum, at scrum, he's going to have to give a penalty to one of the teams. Another baller, good steady scrum from Tix and Kekas, and ball is out. Number 10, Christoph Malcolm going forward. He's brought down by Trey Tobago, number 9. And a good offload there. Miguel, Miguel Christoph with the try there. And an excellent offload by his, I believe, it's his number five. Radis Simmons taking the ball into contact and popping up to Miguel Christoph just on his shoulder. Miguel Christoph cutting through the line. TNT falling asleep on defense there. Putting themselves under undue pressure now by Are we going to see that try. replay? There we have Miguel, Christ, Miguel Malcolm crossing the line. Uh, Miguel Malcolm scored on Monday again as well against uh, British Virgin Islands. We have Christos Malcolm for the kick. He is 0 and 1 so far today. Don't throw the water, please. Thanks. Seems to be an easy kick for him from this distance. Oh, but it comes off the uh, upright. Off the post. And I, th I believe he suffered from com the commentator blight there. The curse of the commentator. Listen, Gera, uh, Mr. Malcolm will not be too pleased with you after this game. <laughs> <laughs> and Crystal Malcolm is 0-2 for conversions today. So TNT stay on top by 12 points to 10. Jaron Panther for the restart. Oh, shoot. Oh, and he opts to go Quickly. to the back line. And what a take. That ball went backwards, I believe. No, nope. the ref a signal for a knock on. Scrum blue. Um, nope, scrum. Got a knock on red. Scrum good innovation there from Jerome Panther. It almost paid off. The ball had landed in the hands of his centre, number 22, but just going forward in contact. Had, had he been able to recover that ball there, I think it would have been a great attacking opportunity for them with the supporting player, his blind side winger, coming up alongside him. Sure uh, most definitely. We have another scrum. Uh, let's see if it's a bit steady or much better than the rest. I think one of, one of the tr problems they're also having is that the hookers are getting their feet up a bit earlier than he would like. And it's causing the ball to come directly back out the tunnel. Okay. Nope, Hooker. we still have the same problems. Um, if they bind, that does not mean for you to go in. Maintain the gap. You don't have to move. Understood? As mentioned by Doug before, these are the new ELVs with the engagement laws, so a lot of the teams are still adapting to this. And the, co and the laws state that the call by the referee is crouch, bind and set. So, and only on the set they are invited to engage. Ball is in. And a big push from TNT. And, oh, and Mompe, number 19, is up with and a good tackle there from TNT Sanka. Red Bull! TNT seem to be contesting at the rock. But, but Turks and Kikos are able to secure it. The ball moves wider. Terror Mystic, a big hit coming in there from Cathal, number 42. Advantage. There's an advantage here being played to number Turks, to Turks and Kikos for a high tackle. No advantage being gained, so the referee is going to bring it back for the, for the first infringement. There was a high tackle by number 43 of the Trinidad and Tobago select team. Just a lapse in different discipline there from uh, Jean-Luc Moutet, who is also one of the scored the first try of the day today. Your penalty. Um, it didn't look malicious at all, Felician. It's just passionate, adrenaline. He wants to play the game. 
playing in the big heads. Unfortunately, it was uh, illegal. TNT look very fired up for the game, so it's, it's expected that some some of the players will allow their their um, emotions to overflow at some point. Christoph Markon kicks with touch, which he does not find. And a ball for Tobago uh, making a huge mistake there. The ball went all the way to 22, but instead of being touched down, the Trinidad Tobago fullback tries to kick it out. And a very poor touch finder leaves Trinidad Tobago in their 22, and takes and Kekos having an attacking line out. Had, had Trinidad touched down the ball in the try area there, they would have, they would have gotten the 22 drop out and they would have been able to reset and compose themselves for, to regain themselves in, after having that long kick there by Christoph Marshall. When you're ready, Just some poor decision making there. It happens and at this level it might happen more than, more than usual. But um, again, it was a good developmental tool for the boys. Trinidad Tobago have won the opposition line out. Rock is set five meters off their try line. I think they're going to try and use the boot here to clear some yards. And it's a wonderful kick there by the young Panther. Oh. I think that this is going to be looked at here. We have an arc on in the touch, so you have the oh, it seems to be a very, it seems to be a very good tackle there by the TNT player who, who chased up after the kick, forcing the knock on. It's the same pressure from TNT there, um, keeping the ticks and kickers on the back foot. And Trinidad have managed to fight their way out now. They're just on the 22 with a lineup with a scrum knock on by Tix and Kekos and he tackle again as a result from the great chase by the by the winger for, for Trinidad and Tobago. We see, we see the TNT team set very deep here. They're probably going to try a strike move. They probably they also may use the big number 42. Cathol Long to take it up here from the center. They move it wide. Hands, move it wide again. Out to the winger. Who uses the boot? It's a good chase. Excellent chase there from the 22 for Trinidad and Tobago. Adrian Hosein. And TNT have won the ball in the tackle area and they and they up to go wide. Trinidad looking very dangerous at this point. They need to retain possession to strike from this place. Oh, but Turks and Caicos have won it at the rock. And they opt to go blind. The ball is loose on the ground. Turks and Caicos in possession. Ball it back. Oh. Christoph Malcolm. Hands 13. Nice and third. step there by the number 13 from the Turks and Caicos. Oh, but the pass was wanting. And the pass cut out there from Cathar. A great exchange here from the TNT team and the Turks and Caicos. There's an over. There's a oh. He should have used used the ball that time. There was an overlap to his left. There's a penalty here for the entry at the rock. So Turks and Caicos now will have to retreat ten, and they and they take the pressure off of the TNT team. Will tight. Will go for the distance and seek the line out up the pitch. I think that was an excellent pass as a pace, uh, play there, Felicia. Ball going back and forth. Both teams getting it wide, taking it forward. Both teams eager to attack. Now we have a good touch finder there from Jerome Panther. And TNT select, have an attacking line out. Just on the Turks and Caicos 10 meter line. The boys seem to be. Seem to be feeling the effects of the conditions here as they as they saunter into the line out. In or out, blue. So there's a TNT throw in at the line out. Ball comes back onto the TNT side. Jaron Panther scooping it up to the blind side winger coming on number 23 uses the boot over. Oh, but he's unlucky in, in not recovering it at that point. Ball taken up by number 13 for Turks and Caicos. Use it! Rosemond Joseph. Christoph Malcolm, the Turks and Caicos number 10 with ball in hand, brought down there. 
Turks and Caicos not securing the ball. And Kaka Long again in the breakdown. He seems to be all over the park. The number 12 for Turks. Oh, it's a nice move there by the number one for Trinidad and Tobago. Regil Simon. Jaron Panta again and scrum off. Out to his big forwards. TNT, TNT setting up for another strike move here. Going to use the forwards. Hands cut along. They need to start taking the ball forward Out here. Out to Grace Roseman. And Roseman just holding on to the ball a little bit too long. Gets it away to his winger. Oh, and it's lost in the contact here. There's advantage here to the Turks and Kikos. Knock on by Trinidad and Tobago select. Oh, and it's a kick by Mon Premier. Premier chasing hard. Jaron Panther back supporting. He evades one tackler. He's held by another. Does well to retain possession there. And they set the, and they set the platform for them to pick and go again. Ooh, that's a great charge there. A number 43 for Trinidad and Tobago. That's John Luke Montet. Sure. Kafa Long trying his hand off again. Make sure he has support is there from TNT Select as they rock forward. And, and Jared picks up the back of the rock. And he's making, he's making great inroads here. Oh, but he's tackled by the number 15 for the Turks and Caicos. TNT Select is support is there. Ball is out to the big runners going forward. Trinidad would want to secure a quick ball here to continue attacking. But, ha but the ref has called for hands in the rock there. I think the ref may be, somebody might be in trouble here, Felicia. And the ref has warned uh, Ticks and Caicos about their discipline before. Yep. And there's a sin bin here and there's discipline. And I think that, that's, a t that's a team penalty there. After the team has con conceded so many penalties, the referee, in order to try and maintain that discipline, has, has they were warned and they continue to infringe poor discipline. And um, unfortunately, Malik Simmons. Number four for Turks and Caicos. As the one who is penalized there. One infringement too much. Yellow card, 10 minutes in the bin. It seems like Jaron Panta is lining up for the penalty here. I think he's going for the three points, Gav. I think that's the best option. We're still in the first half. TNT selector up by 12 points. Let them increase the lead a bit. Uh, no need to panic. It's good composed rugby. I think that's the right decision. With the inclusion of Jaron Panther into the squad, do you see any great changes in, in, the, in the actual play of the Trinidad and Tobago team today, Gav? I think Jaron Panther is showing, um, well, obviously, he comes from a rugby family. Father Wayne, his brother, sister, they all uh, Trinidad and Tobago national players. And he's showing his experience, he's marshalling the boys well, he's uh, kicking well, running well. And that brings us to halftime here at the Fatima College ground. The score, as we have it, is 12-10 to Trinidad and Tobago, Turks and Caicos. Not, f not out of it yet, but very close. We'll you'll join us again for the next 10 minute, in 10 minutes' time.